Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you the alien map tool inside of GIMP. So, in previous videos I showed you how to color balance, and one example of a good color balance would be what you see in my background image here for my thumbnails. But the alien map is something different. Uh, pun sort of intended. The alien map takes your colors and makes them very wild, um, in ways I couldn't even begin to <laughs> understand. But the general idea is that when you increase the frequency on one of these colors, um, it's going to make the footage a lot more wavy, a lot more grainy. So, as you can see, if I turn up the frequency up here, it almost looks like a old television. Uh, I believe one of the CRT uh, TVs where when you turned on to a blank channel, you would get that white noise grainy effect. It's sort of like that when you have a high frequency. But at the lower frequencies, where your image is still recognizable, it takes the colors and it makes them very harsh. So it basically takes the greens, the reds, the blues, or any combination of those three, and intensifies them to the point where it looks very out of this world, hence the name Alien Map. So as you can see, with like the red, the green, and the blue turned on, it almost looks something like thermographic vision. Uh, if you remember the Predator movie, that's kind of what I'm thinking here. But we can, of course, turn off the green and the blue channels to kind of make it a little bit uh, less intense, just kind of more of a grungy look. Um, so here with the red channel turned on, obviously the red gets intensified, and as we move around the angle spectrum, uh, or the phase shift, it's going to uh, basically target different areas and with different intensities. So as I go back towards the middle, it moves from the inside out towards the outside where we have all of this black in the original image. And as I keep increasing, it kind of goes back towards the middle, towards the background. So that's kind of what phase shift does. It moves around your image and targets different areas. So if I turn on modify green channel again, you can see that the colors kind of mix a little bit, especially in certain areas, and it very much depends on what you use for your phase shift. So you can get a lot of different effects here. Generally, if your frequency is toned back towards one or something like that, that's where you'll get the more realistic effects. So with red frequency and green frequency set around one or two, it's almost like a fancy color balance, and that might be what most people are looking for there. And we can, of course, turn on the blue frequency as well to get a little bit more color in there. It's just, it's really the kind of tool you just got to play around with here for a while. But I do have uh, four examples, or four samples rather, that you can kind of see what I came up with with the effect. Uh, this one right here, probably the one I like the most, where I kind of took the colors and now uh, the face or the background, those have kind of been targeted to, for more of a red. And then everything else, the uh, the darker colors on the screen and what's in the foreground is kind of a blue. And I, I think that really meshes well together and they contrast pretty well. So that could be a cool effect that you might actually use. Um, and more of the more ridiculous level you have a very high frequency and I think this was used just using uh, red frequency and you can see how intense it can get that does not look like anything in the uh, human world which is part of why you get the name for this effect but you can see uh, in many ways this can be used to kind of create um, the illusion of kind of a grunginess so that's one thing I, I would think of maybe you're playing around with metal textures and you want to make it more alien. So that's one example. And uh, here we have, uh, I believe it was just using the blue frequency, possibly with green frequency. I mean, logically speaking. You can kind of see how you can get different shadows to contrast with each other very harshly with different colors. And another one of the more out there examples, but I do like the hair, how it turns from white into that, uh, nice blue that kind of phase as well together, but you can see that the uh, the face in this image is pretty harsh So one thing you might want to do is to Isolate parts of your images out into separate layers so that uh, when you do apply the effect It only applies it to say the hair in the background, but not like the human face as well 
So, uh, yeah, just an idea there. Anyway, that's been the alien map tool in GIMP. Just found it earlier, and I think it's pretty damn cool. You can find it in colors, map, alien map. So I've been Chris. Thanks for taking a look at this video. If you found it helpful or interesting, consider donating to the channel down below, and I'll see you in my future videos.